How y'all doing? I want to welcome y'all to Strawberry Space, where we discuss transgender related topics. I'm reality show becoming Lexi, colon, I am me. It's about Lexi's life being transgender, her journey of self discovery, and the hot friends who support her. Yeah, if you watch it, I'm in episode 204, the big game. At the end, I scored the losing touchdown. I didn't know you played football, Jamie. Really? Because he's literally been holding a football all day. Well, all sucky sucky now, Strawberry Space trans men and women, they got the Chucky reboot. They got the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the Bel-Air reboot. Now they got the Saved by the Bell reboot, child. This reboot, Saved by the Bell, is fine. Um, it was in the 80s and the 90s, the popular TV show, Saved by the Bell. Y'all know that um, this on Peacock, you got to do the 5 to six ninety nine a month. I was trying to see Chloe um, movie to praise, and I stumbled upon this, and I said, Okay, let me let me relive my glory days. You know, Ned's Declassified, School Survivor God, I'm Fabulous, Drake and Josh. Let me go and watch Say by the Bell. And then come to my surprise when because I was looking for Family Guy next. Some of these shows is is on different networks. Um, the Saved by the Bell, they the different characters ain't the same. Cause I know um the black girl is not she don't act like the original black girl. And then I knew a little bit about Screech, but I knew Slater more. I know Mario Lopez because, I mean, that's <laughs> Mario Lopez. And then, you know, trans men and women start race face. We have to open up the discussion because ain't nobody was trans back in the day. And, and none of these children was transgender in the 80s and 90s, even though it was a parent of Marsha P. Johnson and all that. Are we becoming a fad, an item, a hot commodity? Is everybody trying to be like us in, in, in the community? We are just, you know, popping up as a hot topic in all these, you know what I'm saying, um, movies, sitcoms, TVs, and videos. And I'm just looking like, I, I want to know what y'all think about it. Discuss it in the comments. Grab a snack. Y'all know I'm here to give y'all the tea sector of the the, the, the tea and all the uh, transgender community and of the LGBT. We are here because the person said, um, I think her name was Lexi, that she was trans and they tried to really use the sexuality of social media to wrap it around 360 to make it more of a, okay, we have the same values from the old show back in the day, but we got to incorporate it with what's going on now, you know, um, you know, AI, you know, Twitter, you know, going viral, but it's just, what did the sexuality have to do with it? Transmitted women strawberry space. Do you think we are finally being recognized? Um, so this goes to show that the heterosexual probably was right saying we are forcing this upon the kids, you know, the children. But I feel like it's not an agenda now. We are the new normal. So I mean, it does feel good to finally hear that come on people's tongues as a new love language to say, Oh wow, like um, I'm trans, and this person is trans on TV, too. Now, y'all know I don't like that now, especially when you're not really trans. But I'm just saying, yeah, a win is a win, but I'm still okay now. Don't don't be using our, you know, gender identity in vain. But um, I really did um, watch some of the episodes. I really didn't relate to it because I really didn't watch the original one and I really did watch it for you know the girl the girl that was like a blonde hair she was really you know smart I think she's the administrator in it but how they're trying to pull it now is not really on the guy it's more on so the female and uh and the other guy you know being too cultural background, people coming from Douglas High to Bayside. I guess it's kind of like Freedom Riders, like the black kids from the poor side of L.A. come to, you know, 
Hollywood and Malibu and all that. So they're trying to make it kind of like that. So when it becomes less of a comedy and more of a, a woke type of thing, you lost me. But, I mean, how do y'all feel about it, y'all? Strawberry Space, do you feel like sooner or later we might have an all transgender show? I remember Fox Soul has somewhere turned out with T.S. Madison. So we just have to see what the future holds. You know, artificial intelligence going to do its job, and it? Amen? Okay? So we just definitely... Well, uh, one, two, and this was all in the pilot. This was all in the first episode. So support the show. Get it on Peacock. Get it on Hulu. Get it on something, baby. So get it on. Um, but like I said, don't be alarmed. The girl isn't um, a part of the community. I wonder how, because I, cause I thought to myself about selective outrage. Like, why are you cisgender biological women? claiming in the real world we're trying to be them but on tv claiming to be trans but then i felt like well i guess that is the same um upset feeling they feel when we go audition for movie roles and we want to play a sister in a woman and they're like you're not a biological woman so it's fair i get that i get that i mean i guess it's just the difference, I guess, with that would be we the, the role ain't we just auditioning for a, a woman's role. It's not, you know, if I'm a trans woman, that's just the type of woman I am. It's just it's a a woman's role. The roles say a female is walking with a man down the hallway in the high school carrying books to the locker. It don't say I got to be born a woman to play it. I'm a woman now. So I guess once you put the trans in on it, a, a specific type of woman, it's like, are you? And if you're not, it's just kind of like, okay, so why are you false claiming? Like, what's going on? But, I mean, I guess it's what to bring it in because, you know, it's like she looks so good. It might be people, brought people's attention, or you might just say the magic thing to make people's eyes jump and, and ears, you know, go and they'll pause and, and turn the volume up. Like what? That's what she say? Rewind that? What? 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 Wait, what she say? And, and you know, and yeah, people watching. It got me to about episode eight, and then I'm not gonna lie, I did lost it. But I, I do recommend it. Um, I did watch the old. Um, ones, and I don't know what character she's replacing, but um, now they got the old Slater as um, he's the I think the janitor. So watch it, enjoy y'all. I'll be watching something else, but um, just you know, go tell me what you like about it, and you know. Maybe I might do a movie review. So I just did one on um, Anything's Possible. I wouldn't mind doing another one. So this is Strawberry Space, and thank you.